Hello. I'm just walking around this apartment complex. It looks nice. So you see. I took a I know you didn't get to see everything, but um I took some I took a picture of uh some beautiful flowers. You see the picture I was gonna go and show you. You know, but um, I wanted to show you my beautiful face first, you know. But the the the, the flowers over there, they, they they orange. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted you to see my beautiful face before you see the beautiful flowers, because I'm I'm as beautiful as the flowers, as they say. No, I'm just well, I'm just playing. You know, I'm just kidding. Uh, God made everything beautiful. Uh, but what I'm coming on here today is to say that. We here celebrating my uncle's um, wedding. He didn't have the wedding today. Him, did I say that right? Him, he and his uh, his wife, now wife, they eloped. Uh, let me walk up here. They eloped uh, a few days ago, or maybe a week ago. So we here at the reception. Yes, I do have something in my mouth, but we here at the reception, and this is pretty. Now, if it had a little bit more color, it'd be pretty, it more prettier. But I still like the the setting of it. You know, I will have all kind of different beautiful flowers surrounding this tree right here. Oh, we do. We have one coming up. So yeah, so that would be so pretty. Have you know, like a lot of flowers. Well, not a lot. You know, just place it in in certain areas, different ones, and um, and that'd be beautiful. But anyway, I'm in I'm in the mood for beauty and love because of the wedding. So, um, yeah, I'm walking about on the grounds of the apartment complex. And, and the apartment complex allowed them to have the reception in one of their little halls over here. And it's beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful turnout. But I was just, you know, so happy to... At, at first, you know, um, I did want to come because I know it's been a long time since my uncle um, met someone that um, he really cared about in this way to the point of being married you know getting married so I did want to come out to celebrate and um, um and you know and see how happy they are um so you know and and they are so happy being together and that's the thing you know that's what we need to find someone out here in the world because it's, it's always someone out here for each and every one of us find someone out here in the world who will appreciate you um the way that you are and I'm not saying that them two don't have problems you know a lot of us have problems in the world who doesn't but uh, but they they can deal with each other's problems you know they 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 made for each other um, so and, and and the thing that matters is that they they love each other you know it, it, it's not about what we want or what we think who we think they need to be with they they love each other. They picked each other because you know sometimes people out here in the world they try to. Uh, I'm just gonna give you an example. Like, say you have some friends and they say, oh well, he or she isn't right for you. But then again, if you look at their relationship, not unless their relationship is perfect, they don't need to be saying anything to you. You know, sometimes people just need to step back a little bit and allow you to be you and do what you want to do because we we do have free will free will to choose this person no matter if they they good or bad so but we have in this world we have a lot of people that try to tell you you know who to choose and as long as you love that person it shouldn't matter you know because we out here searching for love so if people find love in, in strange ways let them let it be if they loving it then let it be so again i'm out here walking walking about and you probably can tell by the way um, I'm breathing that I'm walking around. You, yeah, now I know you can see me walking around. So, um, so yeah, I'm just here celebrating love, you know, a beautiful thing. And, again, I'm glad that I, I did show up for this occasion. And maybe one day, maybe one day I would be up there stepping up to the plate. I never was the type that wanted to get married. But I do love love. <laughs> so you never know. You never know. Um, so, ah, I'm going in the dark, I'm going in the dark, but see, I'm a light, so it doesn't matter if I'm in the dark, because if I'm a light, I'm a shine anyway, but, um, but it's not my light, it's the light of the Lord's, 
Um, okay, we have some yellow flowers over here. Let's walk over here and then look at some yellow flowers. They're in there saying something. Okay, oh, what kind of flowers are these? You see the yellow flowers? All right, they might be doing a raffle. I might have to get in there and um, and see if I won the prize. Yeah, I'm kind of in the darkness right now. But again, I guess it, again, I'm, my words are getting a little bit mixed up. Uh, um, oh yeah, like I was saying before, um, I, I I am in the darkness, but I am so beautiful and shining so bright that you can still see me. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh oh, zero two two. Zero two two zero four five five. Let me see. Zero. Hold on. That could be me. If I'm out here, I'm gonna scream aloud. What is it? Now mine zero two two zero two three. Wow. Zero two two zero two three. Okay, I know that number. Y'all know it. That's easy to remember. They call me. I'm gonna say bingo. You know, bingo. That's me. I'm gonna go running in there and get my prize. My prize. Uh. Zero, two, two. Uh huh. Zero, two, one. Oh, dang it. That was almost me. It was almost me. Y'all heard that? Did y'all hear that? They said zero, two, two, zero, two, one. Uh oh, uh oh. Somebody won something. By the time I walk around, maybe they call my eyes. Oh, they got five more. Okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep y'all on until, um, until uh, till they call my number, because I know they're gonna call it. As soon as I hit the door, they're gonna call it. Zero two two. Zero five seven. Huh? Oh, somebody's screaming. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, they got four more left. Four more left. I'm gonna start walking a little quicker, cause I know as soon as I get that door, I'm gonna have that prize. I'm gonna walk in. They're gonna be like, no, no way. This didn't just happen like that. But it's gonna be yes way. And you here to witness that. So I'm still walking and talking. And I'm hoping I'm not too far away to hear them call the number out. Zero two two. Uh huh. Nope. It says something. I heard a four at the end. I don't have a four. I have a three at the end. Again, I'm walking. I'm walking. And they're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna jump and say, "No way!" But if I don't win, then oh well. Cause I'm a winner already. I'm a winner already, baby. I'm a winner already. Okay, now you can see the flowers. Now you can see the flowers. Look how beautiful they are. Just like me. See? Zero two. Oh, they said three two. That's my number, but backwards. That's what I think they got three more left. Three more left. Okay. Three more left. Let me see. I'm going to take it out. Oh, man. Don't tell me I lost my number. That would be messed up, huh? I got it. I got it. Yep. My number. My number. Uh-huh. Oh, dang. Zero, two, two, zero, two, two. Mine was two, three. Oh, right, man. Zero, two. Thought that was mine. Hey, I was I was one one number off. It's getting closer and closer, but this I think we down to the last one number or maybe two more left. Let me see. I'm gonna stay right here till till they finish. Cause I wanna bust in the door like like you know I'm going on stage. Zero two two. Zero two two. She said that one. And I heard them in there say, You said that. Come on, get my number, girl. Right, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Hey, hey, just just bear with me. Uh huh. Dang. It keep getting me scared. You know how you be on the edge. You're like, okay, you hear you hear it's getting close. Like, wait a minute, that's not. No, but it's not. Okay, so I think she got one more. And um, if not, then I'm gonna have to be a sore loser today. No, I'm not gonna be no sore loser because I told you I'm a winner. I am a winner. I'm a winner. Uh, I'm putting my number away, but um, I'm going to take it back out because I know I won. Let's see how right I am.
Let's see how. Maybe I, I was the first one they called. Maybe. I don't know. But hey, that will be good if I'm the first. The first winner. I'm just trying to find some. This. Oh, I heard two seven, so I don't know if that's if that's the last number or not. But um, mm -mm. they found a winner. They found a winner. But anyway, thank you for enjoying um this walk around with me, looking at nature, hearing me talk about love, and um, I'm going inside to experience experience this uh, environment of love because that's that's the kind of environment we all need to be in right now is the environment of love spreading beauty around in the world um, inside of us and outside in the world to each other and uh oh bow, bow, bow. can y'all hear that stuff I'm still trying to see if they uh if I don't want to walk in right now because the, the bride and the because the bride and the groom are right here at the door. <laughs> Seven three. Well, now y'all can hear, huh? I'm sorry if I have any. I just got finished eating, so I'm sorry if I have anything in my tooth. My tooth. Let me pick up these things in the grass. I guess they got a lot of numbers. I'm not going in until they call my number. Somebody said bingo. But um, I'm 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 trying. Just 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 bear with me. I got to think of something to say. Okay, okay. So, uh, is that it? It's a birdie up here. Uh oh. It's a birdie right there on the tree. I don't know if you see the birdie. Uh-oh. Okay. They doing something. I don't know. Okay, they, they're doing guessing games now. Okay, so let me talk to you for a minute about something. All right. And I'm hoping that I'm still having people watching my video, even though I pause for a second. All right, this video <laughs> is about love, of course. But also, I would like to say about Caitlin, um, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark, the uh, college basketball player, and also Angel Reese, and the, I, I, I put it like this: I really enjoy watching um, the college basketball this year normally I just watch the NBA and rarely the WNBA I'm going to be honest and I'm a female but for some reason I'm drawn to the men at the, um, athletes so because even with golf I will watch the men but again um, for some reason I'm drawn to the men and so I don't know if it's because they're stronger or because I thought I thought that uh, they were better in any way I'm not saying that um, that men are better than women, and I, I believe we are equal. And and this is the reason why I'm saying what I'm getting ready to say is because um, this is my this was my first year watching the college uh, men or women, and uh, I think I watched some men um, here and there, but not as much. But this is my first year watching the women's, and I got an eyeful. To the point of, I almost envy uh, not being out there, being one of the players, because I I love basketball, and I the kind of life that I led, it kind of pulled me away from playing basketball, so I couldn't pursue that. I di I didn't want to pursue it at that time. So um, so yeah, I kind of envy watching it this year. I envy the females because they were good, and I was wishing that I could have been out there being one of those people. But anyway, because of seeing these people competing, these females competing the way that they did, it, it drew a lot of people in. And so I'm going to be, probably because of how the female played, 
I prom I probably will be watching a lot of other female athletes out in the world a little bit more. Um, and the thing of me saying uh, Caitlin and Angel Reese and all the other female players, the South Carolina, you know, the Iowa, the uh, LSU, and um, even the um, the California USC or whoever. It, it was a lot of good teams out there that I I, I started watching this year. And so, um, um, what I'm trying to say is, females get treated really bad, and, and not even treated females bad when it came to, to you know, watching certain sports. But uh, this year it changed everything. And um, again, what I'm trying to say is, I got to get to the bottom line, is that females get treated bad in the world, and a lot of females out here can outdo a lot of men and I'm not putting any men down but it's a lot of females that are taking the roles uh, doing the roles of uh, doing the roles in which the men are supposed to be doing it's a lot of men that's stepping back this you know kind of relaxing a little bit too much and the females are stepping up but we're getting paid less a lot less and so I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a point and so the um so that's not right you know it's like we're having babies cooking in the kitchen and everything cooking and cleaning taking care of the kids going to school uh, going out here working maybe two or three jobs and we're still only getting paid pennies compared to what the men are getting and they're not doing their jobs right and matter of fact um, well I'm not going to get all into that I just know that females have a uh, rose to a certain level now to a level that we are up there right with the men and if not better and so, and I'm saying this because um, a lot of men need to step back up to that plate. So yeah, I, I feel that it's a lot of women out here that are doing better than, than men, but still getting paid less. Which brings me back to the point of the basketball. So the females, I looked it up as far as the, uh, the WNBA and the NBA. The highest, I don't know the max of what they get paid, but I think it's like, I'm just going to say a roundabout number, like let's say 200000 That's That's the max for a female, WNBA, pro. The men, uh, max, of course, it's almost close to a billion dollars, right? It might be like $270 million or, I mean, I, I don't know who, who got the the highest, but I do know it, it's, it's some that, that, they they get like 70 million i'm just going to go with the 70 million because that's still a lot compared to um females getting 200 some thousand you know so i'm like wait a minute this this doesn't balance out and they doing the same thing and indeed i do know it has to do with the attendance of the crowd but um but still something has to be done because they're out doing the same thing they've fallen on the ground you know they're they're getting in scuffles and this and that and and getting paid pennies you know and their bodies go through a lot more because they can have babies and so their bodies are getting bruised up more and um i'm, I'm, I'm saying not more but i'm saying damage to their bodies can be a lot uh that de detrimental i can't even get that out. i don't even know why i try to use that word uh it could be a lot worse on them because they have kids or or they are able to we are able to have kids so but again I'm, I'm i'm going back to the um to the to the point of them getting paid less okay so again i'm going back and forth but my th this is this is the point right here that i'm trying to make right here and i know you probably would say hurry up girl why you go all the way around okay because i want you to listen to me no but um i know you don't want to listen to no 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 gibberish okay here's the point Caitlin and Reese and all of them, they brought in a lot of people. So I think uh, it's a lot of people out there who does, doesn't like Reese or, uh, or Caitlin, but they brought in a lot of attendance. So right there, that should bring up the, the, the money value uh, on, on the women's side because they brought a lot of people in. If, if, if it didn't, this should be the start of it. And then there's a lot of uh, WNBA players out there that are getting jealous or they saying things about Caitlyn and Reese and, and this and that. But 
But sometimes when we pray for things, like if, say, for instance, one of the WNBA players pray, like, um, women need to get treated better. We need to be equal to the men pay, you know, to have the, the equal pay that the men do. But now here's here comes somebody that was sent that's bringing in all of this tension that could bring in that revenue for you to get that money that you're getting but now you're hating on this person that could be that the person that you're hating on could be the person that's bringing you what you prayed for so we have to be careful about what we say and and, and not judge people you know just let people be who they are you know um but sometimes people get mad when somebody is better and in my opinion we all the same because the to me, what a, a true goat is, is somebody like Jesus. Somebody who does something and nobody else can do it. Um, nobody won't even come close. So if, if the people out here that you're calling goats, if they have people that's trailing them, then they're, they're not a goat. A goat is somebody who does something and nobody else can do it. Nobody. You know, um, and I'm not just saying, oh, okay, well, you can shoot this shot from this. I mean, because sports and all that, that, that. I don't even know why we we even give goat. I mean, say people are goats in sports. I mean, to me that I mean that's just you just playing, playing sports. You are just playing. You are playing now. Somebody that's working and, and putting hard work in something they use in their mind or their hands or something like that. That's a goat. You know, you could say, well, this person is brilliant. They did this and do that. Something, somebody like a. Einstein or Ben Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, somebody who created something that you haven't created, and if you did, it'd be like some thousands of years down the road, or some hundreds of years down the road, but not somebody that this plan around, because that's all sports is, a, a, a game, right? It's a game, so yeah, I mean, come on, you can't have no goats in no games, because somebody's going to come around and uh, beat you anyway, beat your record or be trolling behind you. So anyway, my point was, Women need to get treated fairly. We need to start making more money out here in the world. So I'm, I'm sending a message out here that we are, we, us females are not going to take it anymore. I don't know if anybody's going to stand up, but I'm just glad that Caitlin and Reese and all the other people are uh, doing good in that sport. And, and hopefully it'll bring revenue in so, every, so the females could get treated better and get better pay. And... Um, if you don't do this, whoever, like if you, some kind of organization, if you listen to this, if you don't do it, I'm going to keep saying something about it until it does get done. So uh, I might be talking a little gibberish right now, but when it comes down to it, when it's time to really put my foot down on something, I'm going to stand up for it and it's going to happen. So, because um, I don't give up, you know, I, I might get knocked down, but I don't give up. So, um. So yeah, so I know first it was about love, then now it's about equal white equal rights. So uh so yeah, so you, you heard a little bit of this and that on my video today and thank you for listening and watching and goodbye. Peace out.